Nine killed, dozens hurt, and nearly 200 facing charges. The exact cause of the biker gang brawl in Waco remains unclear. A fight that escalated into a shootout among gangs and police. Most of us only know about biker gangs from television shows like Son of Anarchy. It is a world most are not allowed to see, and people in these biker gangs don't usually talk about what goes on inside. But KXAN investigator Brian Collister has had exclusive access over the years to members of the Bandidos Motorcycle Club who police say were involved in the deadly Waco shooting. Today, Brian sat down with one of the Bandidos' top leaders who was there. The event at Twin Peaks on Sunday was organized by a coalition of biker groups called the Texas Federation of Clubs and Independents. The president of that group and main speaker at the event is an Austin area bandito member. When we seen the guys with the M16s, had everybody on the ground. That was the scene when Jimmy Graves says he showed up to speak at a meeting of biker clubs in Waco on Sunday. We had one of the inside guys call me, tell me the only thing he knows is he heard a gunshot and then he saw police officers running everywhere and bullets going everywhere. Some inside took these never before seen pictures of police inside during the shooting and bikers on the ground outside. As head of the Texas Confederation of Clubs and Independents, Graves says the meeting was intended to be a peaceful gathering for bikers to learn about their rights. And he has no idea yet how the fighting started or who started it. But in his role as a national officer of the Bandidos, Graves strongly denies claims by police that biker gangs involved have been ordered to kill anyone in uniform. How long do you think the Bandidos Motorcycle Organization would last if we went out shooting at cops? President Obama himself would send out the Air Force, the Army, the Marine Corps, and everybody and take us out. There's no way. We respect the police for doing their job. Over the past 15 years, I've reported on the Bandidos, allowed unprecedented access to their leaders and events. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Including this funeral of a murdered Bandido in 2001. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this party in which a San Antonio City Council member gave them a proclamation for their charity work. But law enforcement officials say the bikers are simply trying to change their notoriously violent image and are really a criminal organization with hundreds of members who engage in drug dealing, prostitution, and sometimes even murder. Law enforcement says you guys are nothing but organized crime, that you're a criminal organization. Are the Banditos a criminal organization? We do not break the law as a whole. We do not encourage it. You do not have to be a criminal to be a Bandito. We will not take criminals if we know they're criminals. We don't want that reputation. Now, the Bandidos deny what happened was the result of a long simmering dispute with other bikers. Robert? Uh, Brian, the Bandidos don't usually sit down for interviews with reporters. How did you get this kind of access? Over the years that I've reported on them, I basically have just said, look, this is your opportunity to tell your story, to explain to people what your group is like. Now it's up to viewers to decide whether or not they believe their side of events. Very interesting, Brian. Thank you so much. We have full in-depth coverage of this weekend's gang shooting. It's available right now at KXAN.com. There you'll find a slideshow of mugshots showing the people arrested on Sunday, plus photos from the scene. It's all at the homepage at KXAN.com. And remember, if you have an issue Brian and our investigative team can look into, email our tip line, report it at KXAN.com.